Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so basically, I have a safe house over here, and a sorry, up there, and a safe house over here. Beautiful. Okay. No, it's not far from here, it's all the way there. So let's go to the observatory. Let's see what's over there. <laughs> this wilderness actually reminds me of the beginning of the game, honestly. It gets its own vibe, doesn't it? Hmm. Wait a minute, is that a actual... That's a chicken over there? Interesting, interesting, a non-location. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't want to know what's that. <laughs> Looks dangerous to me, okay. A bad feeling about this. Can't even... Oh, wait, I can enter. Let's move this. Right, Aiden of Aiden. Luan, yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? I guess Luan really have parted the ways with us. Hey, Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I have the bad feeling about this, seriously. <laughs> okay, where are we? We're at the same place, I think, is it? No. Who is that? What the f Let's get the hell out of here, Greg. Hey! Wait! Stay away! Thank you for saving me, I hey! guess. They already left. What the fuck just happened here? Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Where are we at? Holy... Wait, 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 wait. From here? All the way to there? How did they take me, bruh? What is happening over here? Interesting. Okay, wait, hold on. Did I just put a marker? Seriously? Okay, there we go. Alright, we have the skill which is gonna make us climb high walls, I guess, but not as high as that. <laughs> Something like this. Okay, we need to go there. <laughs> okay, let's go. BK, 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 I'm coming for you. This is the main HQ, yeah, it's the fortress. <laughs> Alright, knock knock. Hello there, XPP coming to the house. How's everybody doing? Hey right there. Ooh, we have prisoners over you here. Do better elsewhere. Master. Interesting, yeah, interesting. Uh, what did they serve yesterday? Identify yourself. Me? Halt. Biomarker. There it is. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Matt takes part in mission himself? Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. Interesting, it's been interesting. this way since before old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Okay, I have a question about this real quick. Is that the area where... Yeah, I think it is, right? Is it? I mean... No, it's not. That's the island over here. Okay. Check your infection level. 
big ship, big ship, big ship, big ship, big ship, big ship. Go, 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 go. Can't wait, can't wait to see the inside. Good luck. Make some way for me. Hey, where's dispatch? Why are they looking there. at me? All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. I guess that's a squad. They've already attacked two of our camps. All right, get yourself ready for a beautiful you place. To you Look at. The first place. This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous Ooh, war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, sir. That's a prisoner over there. Over. You know that. So are you dispatch? Yeah, Please wait. To do. Talk. <laughs> I know you got things to do. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Ah, too. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. <laughs> you can look really at the rain reflection. <laughs> I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Hmm? Missy welcomes you. Who's Missy? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She yeah, played a key it. role during the revolution. <laughs> Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Yep. What was the fight about? What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. Okay, what's, what was the deal with your father? I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh, this again? Sorry. Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? So why is she mad about it? Where's Major Matt? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. Oh, See that that's board? really far. I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! The other way. Is that Ager? Wait. We... What? Is that the door? They didn't find Fuck. anything but. Ager's in really bad shape. He's alive? Take him to the infirmary. Don't Summon the medics! Die. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You How hear me? is he alive? Get moving. Gu guys, we saw him dead. He he's alive? Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. No. Ator. He's alive? Okay, let's go talk to Jack Matt. That's really interesting. Huh. I'm around if you need me, friend. Alright, thank you. Alright, so I guess this is the place where the commander is at. Uh, Aiden. Are you don't okay? Just stand there. Come here. Yeah, what's up? Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Oh. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, 
from the Butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Uh, just tell me what you have. I'm looking for my sister. Yeah, let's tell him that. I mean, he can help me probably. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the GRE scientists uh, in hiding? Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge? Wow. People captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. I mean, Aiden have a point. But they are the people who started it on the first place. But I think there are good peoples in there, so... Yeah, what do you want in return? Yeah, I guess his offer, you know. There is something in return. Fine. Oh, what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC tower spire. Ooh. Wait, you want to defeat the butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. But please, please, if I do this, please don't make me choose between survivors and PKs. Please. Please. Okay. How can I be certain you'll help me? I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> He's sick. You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Yeah, I don't want to call him friends from the beginning. It's our sir from the beginning. <laughs> Ooh, talk. Aiden, what do you want, son? Ask about the renegades. These renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's going to be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized. 
Because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it. Destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Okay. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then. I think they should better change that dialogue. I mean, like, we already I hope it heard what we want to hear. Alright, thank you, Commander, for your time. Now it's time for us to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I like to explore this, but holy, okay. I mean, I've never visited a vendor before. Yep, merchants. Okay. So, let's see, you're selling some weapons. Interesting, interesting. Um, hmm. I don't want to buy any weapons, honestly. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe I would aim for the resources and yeah, for clothing I want. What else do we have over here? Some accessories, not really. Wait, hold on, what is this? Huh. Okay, your wrappings, I don't think I need that. Yeah, that's just, yeah, maybe consumables. But oh well. Yep. Okay. Thank you for your help. Alright, let's talk to Meyer. Looking for things to do? Yep. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. And A this little is? reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Interesting. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC Tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Mm, tell me more about the TV tower. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so oh. we think. It's the oh. biggest dark zone around. Oh. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. I guess that's explained the story about the white runners. Sorry, white night runners. <laughs> Oh my goodness, tell me more about what happened that night. Yeah. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Well, let's set it up. Okay, 
Let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Okay. Time to act. UV flashlight. <laughs> Thank you. UV flashlight. Let's go. Alrighty. Beautiful. Right, so let's equip it, I guess. Ah, alright. There we go. Oh, there are more tools. Okay, um, how do we equip it? Ah, um, oh. oh, interesting. Yep. So basically, I think it's now equipped. Sorry, this is the wrong menu. Yep, there it is. Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, where are we supposed to go? Oh, wait, down there. Ah, uh, they're training. Uh, I bet this is there. Okay. It's a shame to admit it, but I cried when the city was up. Ooh, that's open. Ah, it's a memorial. Okay, okay. Now it's closed completely. <laughs> okay. Kind of a dark in here, isn't it? Let me just have the light on. For Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So yep. Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur <laughs> Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? What do you want to do for fun? Now oh, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Yeah. Let's try, but no. <laughs> I won't say. Okay, that's everything. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Well, that's not helping. In the Juan? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hold on. This is all chicken spread. Ah, this is gonna be a long episode, isn't it? Ah, okay. Guys, I'm gonna have to do a to be continued. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, and actually meet you at the fisheye or the canteen. Yeah.